This is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. Right now, I'm at Santa Sabina Church, which is expecting the Holy Father to arrive and preside the Ash Wednesday services at 4.30 p.m. Here in, here in Rome on the Avatine Hill. Again, as I mentioned, this is Saint S Santa Sabina Church, named after the martyr Sabina, who was actually a servant girl, girl who served the family who lived here, actually below this church. She's buried actually behind me in the main altar. And also, Pope Alexander is buried under the main altar as well. Pope Alexander is the one mentioned in the Roman canon. Santa Sabina is also the site of the Dominican Generalate. St. Dominic lived here the last years of his life, and actually in his room, which can be visited, St. Francis met him there as well. Many great saints have lived here, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Albert the Great, Raymond of Penafort, and other great, even some Dominicans who were actually martyred, spent some time here. St. Thomas Aquinas actually established a school of theology here as well. Behind me also, these main doors are also quite fascinating because there's the oldest existing image, 3D image of the crucifixion in the world. It's either fifth or sixth centuries. These doors actually don't look that old, but they're, they're over 15 centuries old. They are quite stunning. As again, as I said, even close up, they're in very good condition. It's always a very emotional experience to come here at Santa Sabina. I love this church. It did not go through the Baroque explosion as many Roman churches do. It kept its simple form. And uh, again, it's a place of peace and very iconic for the Dominican order as the Dominicans still live here and have lived here for several centuries and consider this place one of the most sacred spots of the congregation. Brothers, God be with you.